tonight. I thought I'd do a quick uh, video. Um, I wasn't planning on this, but I was watching some other YouTubers. And there's one of these YouTubers I watch that um, he, uh, he goes every single day. And he takes um, people from around the country that email him information about what's going on in the United States. I think his, his channel is called Boots on the Ground or something. And today, he, he usually comes on almost every day. Today he discussed that there is a, a uh, avian uh, bird flu chicken shortage. Okay, so he keeps us abreast of what's going on. No pun intended. And with my science background, I knew right away that was type A flu and that it is also called avian flu and that uh, in my research I discovered that the uh, 1918 flu pandemic was a form of avian flu. They exhumed some bodies, I'd read an article on it, and lo and behold it was H1N1, which is a type of bird flu. So immediately I went to the CDC website and I actually cut and pasted these here for you and I'm going to put them in the description box below but it even says it right here it was caused by H1N1 I just wanted to you know double check my memory now what we can do is we can go look at he was saying in Ohio and they do this in a lot of countries in a lot of places soon as they get wind of this A flu they try to knock it out because the flu can be very dangerous for certain groups of people. So they don't want to have their population sick and people out at work sick and they don't want to have this stuff spread. So they immediately take the uh, poultry or chickens and they have to have them put down and they can't be consumed because it spreads to humans. That's why they're doing it. So let's take a look at what Boots on the Grounds uh, was uh, t t one of his viewers, um, Ohio chickens. Okay, so another thing is if you have a backyard chicken, you got to be careful. They carry all kinds of diseases. Um, I know a lot of people are trying to, you know, have hens and chickens and things like that. They carry lice and they carry a lot of diseases that humans can get. And that's why sometimes it's better to have somebody who's like uh, an expert at it. But you know, if you want to have a small farm, hey, that's great. So, um, okay, so these chickens were in Ohio. Um, Okay, here. Chickens and turkeys. This was in May. Let's take this tool and see what's going on now because this stuff gets spread. Here's one of the biggest problems about the bird flu. Um, it causes food shortages, but it it's regular birds outside can get it. Like, or if, even if you have a pet bird, it can get it. And it passes to humans and other animals. But, um, so let's take a look and see. I'm trying to find his, uh, his article. Well, he was saying in his that somebody wrote him and said there was a bird flu in, um, uh, it says here April 28th. Um, this must be so new, it's it's not hit the news. Ohio chickens. Um, uh, I don't know. Well, he said that there was... Um, uh, you can watch Boots on the Ground. He said there was one Ohio chickens... Uh, bird flu put down. Let me see. 
Okay. This looks like something that might be more recent. It says two days ago. Presumptive positive test of H5 avian flu, Eckert County. The board will establish a quarantine zone and put the flock area through rigorous cleaning and testing. Commercial flocks, yada, yada. Now, I'd also like to talk for a minute about, um, you know, zoonotic diseases in general. You can get things from cow's milk. You can get it from goat's milk. You can get it from animals. Uh, you've heard of mad cow disease. You've heard of um, parasites you can get from animals, tapeworm. It's a man who had a tapeworm in his brain. I mean, animals carry diseases that humans can get. And that's why we cook it and prepare it so that it's uh, consumable without... Uh, but even so... In an abundance of caution, a lot of times they wind up, uh, you know, I used to feed birds in my backyard. And then I, I was hearing about all these flu outbreaks and then I was seeing people saying, oh, look, these birds are dying for no reason. And I was, and they were handling them. And I was thinking to myself, you're putting yourself at risk of bird flu because you care about the poor little bird. Be very careful about handling animals that are wild. They carry different things. So that's what I was going to say. You know, food is important. Good nourishment's important. But you have to prepare it properly. And that's what in America we have. We have the Food and Drug Administration. And it helps to protect the public by inspecting these places and whatnot. Now, they're limited in what they can do. And recently in the news, I heard about these Amish farmers that were selling raw milk. I'll tell you, I have a little experience with raw milk. My mother was what was called a health nut back in the day. And when my parents were married, they took us to a farm to get fresh raw milk. Because my mother said she had read this book by Adele Davis called Eat Right for Your Family or something like that. I don't know what it was. And she was trying to give us the best nourishment possible. Give us a really great head start. And I listened to relatives argue with her about the diseases you can get for the cows, from the cow milk, and that's why they pasteurize it. And my mom would argue with them that, that a lot of the stuff, all the nourishment gets boiled out of it when you pasteurize it. But then, you know, you have to admit Pasteur the uh, great Pasteur uh, taught us how to pasteurize to save us uh, Louis Pasteur. This is where we get pasteurization from. Whoops. Let me, let me go over to this. Okay, so my big thing here is um, there might be chicken shortages <laughs> if you eat chicken. I personally don't eat chicken anymore. I gave up chicken in 2013. Uh, I became a pescatarian. And uh, then I went vegan. You know, I, before that I went vegetarian. But anyway, I've tried different diets. And um, at the moment, I am not eating chicken. But I used to love chicken. I would make chicken dishes from scratch. And I, I thought it was a better... Uh, poultry was better than... Um, beef because it didn't have as much uh, saturated fat or cholesterol and I tried to eat healthy and work out and stuff but anyway so bird flu going around in some areas of the country this is pretty much par for the course these different diseases um, the American government and other governments around the world have uh, strict regulations when they get wind of something like this they try to shut it down and stop it um, there's other countries that are much uh, stricter our country's kind of middle of the road but uh, as you could see from that article so about the Amish farmers I don't know I do know one thing 
Um, there's a disease called brucellus that, that is in the milk. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce Ellis, that's what my uncle was talking about when he was telling my mom she was nuts. But we would take the cream off the top, and we would make homemade ice cream that was organic, raw ice cream milk. We, I didn't get sick from it. Uh, we made butter from scratch. We made bread from scratch. We used organic foods. This is when my parents were together. Uh, after they got divorced, we really took a budget cut. But anyway, so this is probably why the FDA is shutting down the Amish, selling it to regular people. Um, you have to get in the United States what are called business licenses and pay taxes if you're going to earn more than a certain amount of money. And, you know, it would be great if the Amish could... Um, have legal representation so they can maintain their way of life. I think their way of life is nice. Um, as long as there's no, you know, funny stuff going on. I mean, you, you, you've got to have boundaries and draw lines. And if they're going to do business in America and set up a shop, they have to follow the rules. That's not fair to other businesses. Can they get a relig religious exemption? I don't know. But I will tell you that we are going through a lot of different, um, you know, utilities and risks, if you will. Um, this is what they talk about in with torts, the utility and the risk. Why do we allow plants to be sprayed by pesticide, higher crop yields, it supports the area, and so on and so forth. Okay, I'm going to jump off here. I just wanted to kind of like jump on for maybe a 10, 10 minutes or something and go over something that's recent, current in the news. But it's also timeless because pathogens are going to be with us. There are many types of pathogens. There's many types of chemicals. And there's chemical reactions. And the one thing that's great about pasteurization or cooking or sterilization is there's different methods of killing pathogens sometimes you'll be killing good pathogens but say you heat your food to 130 degrees or something like that you're gonna kill the good germs and the bad germs well you know you don't want the wrong kind of germs in you you want the right kind so how do you balance this out well, health is something that's elusive for some people, and other people, you know, they remain healthy. So let's take one day at a time. Let's do a SWOT analysis daily, and let's plan for the future and try to be proactive. So I'm going to put these links below. Uh, it talks about the avian flu. It talks about, um, I, maybe I should put the link to the, to the cow thing because that was coming up to... Um, in the in the uh, so basically these foods have proteins and nourishment in it you can get but on the other hand there's some risks with some of the foods back in, in 1918 they had no idea where it came from they thought they called it swine flu but birds carry it and birds are everywhere they're ubiquitous I mean, and they can cross-contaminate things, and you've got flies and insects and things like that. So one of the things you want to do is try to be careful. And so with all that said, I want to thank you for listening and your time. And I was actually planning on doing another chapter in Trump, so I'm going to try to get that on, do my homework, take care of my family, and I want to thank you for listening. And enjoy your uh, weekend. Take care. Bye.